Hey guys, thought I'd talk to you about essentialism and how that trips up many a uh, religious believer. Essentialism is the idea that there is some kind of essence, a set of essential traits that defines uh, what something is and it's you find it in the theology of Christianity, Judaism even, and Islam, where they imagine the existence of a first human, which of course uh, contradicts evolution, even in the Catholic Church that accepts evolution, and where they say that the Genesis story is basically uh, an allegory, they still maintain that it refers to a historical event uh, where a first couple existed. Um, you will even find this um, advocated by an evangelical scientist like Francis Collins who maintains that there was this kind of first human who became morally aware and, and attained free will at, at some point, at some arbitrary point. Um, but there is nothing essentialist about evolution. If, if I were to use an analogy, it would be like saying there was a, a first speaker of a language, a first speaker of French, but of course that, that, that's not possible either. Um, the evolution of a language um, shows that... I mean, if you were to refer back to um, a person in France in the past as the first speaker of French um, and you would say that the set of linguistic traits that uh, of, of that person's language is shared by the by modern day French speakers today that would be false that would that would contradict uh, linguistics the evolution of language because whatever that person was speaking was the, the same language as her peers or her parents were speaking and it shared more traits this person's language shared more traits with the language of its peer, of, of her peers and her parents than it shares with modern day French speakers today right to, to say that that person, that arbitrary person, was the first speaker of French would be as absurd as claiming that some French speaker today is the first speaker of, of a new language. Right? He's just, he or she is just part of a, a long line of linguistic evolution, very gradual. And in the same sense, you can talk about uh, biological evolution. There was never a first human. You can't point back to an arbitrary individual and say that was the first human because whatever person you point back to, that person shared more f traits with her parents and her peers than she shared with modern day humans. And to say that that person was the first person, that the first human being would be as absurd as saying that me, I, uh, am the first human, or the, f the first, uh, the first in the next step of human evolution. I am the next species that, that will evolve. Whereas, um, what is actually the case is that I am, I am the same species as my parents. I share more traits with them than I do with any individual you point back to in the, in the past, in the long past, uh, and my children will be the same species as me. It's, it's, it's a very gradual, uh, a very, very gradual shift and the claim that there is something essential that some arbitrary individual in the past shares with me, but not with, its, with, the, with his or her parents is, is absurd, right? Even in the theology uh, being advocated there that the idea of one particular individual from then on
maintaining free will and a moral code as opposed to her parents would be ethically monstrous because that would be the first person to then uh, have the opportunity to go to heaven only to find out that, well, sorry, but your parents, your peers were not fully aware, ethically, didn't have this free will and they are not here. That person would be like saying that I have attained some kind of mental level that my parents hadn't and therefore they are not granted access. I mean, even in, in, in that theology it, it really doesn't make any any sense. Wholly besides the, um, the question of what evolution is and, and what it entails for uh, all these uh, religious theologies like, like Islam, Christianity or Judaism. Right. Bye.